Hello and welcome to my 6 C++ programming tutorial. My name is Eric and today I'll be teaching you how you can add some basic decision making functionality into your program. Now, in order to give your program the power to make decisions, we must learn something called the if statement. Now, what the if statement does is it receives a conditional statement and if the conditional statement evaluates to true, then it will do something and that something is up to you. However, if it evaluates to false, it will not do that something. Okay, so let's learn how to create an if statement. So as you can see over here on our screen, I've already created the basic setup structure for an if statement. So it goes like this, if and then opening and closing parentheses and inside the parentheses, you would put your conditional statement. So just as a quick placeholder, I'll put it in the comments conditional statements for your own educational purposes. And then on a new line, you would type in an opening and closing curly braces. And inside these braces, you would type in all the statements that you would want to execute if the conditional statement, which is in here, inside the parentheses, evaluates to true. So statements will run if conditional statement evaluates to true. So why would we want to use this feature? Well, let's do an example. Let's say you are creating some sort of program that must check the user's age. The user's age meets the requirements, then the user can do something. Let's say voting, for example. Now we know that in the US, our voting minimum requirement is the age of 18. So let's create a program that will check the user's voting age. So let's create an integer of age, and then we'll see how Please enter your age and then see in age. So we created a variable called age of type integer. And then we have a see out to display a message telling the user to please enter your age. And then the user will type in their age and click enter. And once they click enter, their age value will be stored in the variable age. Now, in order to check whether their age is greater than or equal to 18, inside the conditional statement section of the if statement, we would type in if and then age is greater than equal to 18. And then inside here, we would type in, for instance, see out you are eligible to vote. And okay, now let's compile this program and see what we get. Okay, now as we can see, it shows please enter your age. My age is 20. And then I click enter. Now it says you are eligible to vote. Now because I entered a value of 20 and 20 is greater than 18, it will see out you are eligible to vote. And then let's run this again. Now what happens if it is not greater than 18? Not greater than or equal to 18, I mean. Then let's see what happens. Let's say 5 and then enter. Now notice it didn't display the statement you are eligible to vote. Because 5 is less than 18, it will skip this line of code and continue on with the rest of the program. So let's click continue. So let's say we want to have the program do something if it doesn't meet the requirements. What we can do is add in an else and then underneath it put opening and closing curly braces. And then we'll see out you are too young to vote. Sorry. And then end line. So what this does is if age is greater than or equal to 18 and it evaluates to true, it would see out you are eligible to vote. Otherwise, it will see out you are too young to vote. Sorry. So in our case, if the conditional statement inside the parentheses evaluates to true, it would show you are eligible to vote. However, if it evaluates to false, then it would show you are too young to vote. So let's compile this program and see what we get. Okay, so please enter your age. Let's put 10, which is less than equal to 18. So we are going to expect that the program will print out you are too young to vote. Sorry. So let's click enter. And there you go. It shows you are too young to vote. Sorry. And as you can see, this is how an if statement works. Well, in our case, since we added an else to it, this is now considered an if else statement. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about today's tutorial, please leave a comment below. And remember, please like, comment, and subscribe.